everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing good so today we are going to see htaccess file so first of all we will see what is htaccess file then we will see common uses of htaccess file and and when you should avoid using htaccess file see one example so let's get started with today's video let's see first what is htaccess file so dot htaccess stands for basically hypertext access file so this one is basically a apache distributed server configuration file so it holds the like some configurations so you can set these server configurations for a specific directory so this directory can be the like root directory of your website or any another like sub directory also where this htaccess file is created in order to like enable extra features for that sub directory so using htaccess file you can modify some configurations and thus it makes changes to your website so these changes like can include authorization error handling so now let's see next point some common uses of htaccess file you can use htaccess file for redirection for certain urls if you want to redirect some url then you can load some custom error pages like 404503 and also you can force your website to load for https over http and you can allow or deny some specific ip addresses that should be enabled to your website like whitelist that ip for to visit your website or you can deny that and also for password protect some directories like that is for authorization these are some common use cases of htaccess it depends on your requirement what is your requirement so you can use according to that so now when to avoid using htaccess file so first is if you have already like http server configuration file then you should avoid using htaccess secondly it also slow down your apache http server so if it's not required you can avoid that if you are using any directive in htaccess file so it's better you include in a directory block so it will have a better performance so htaccess has some related modules and related directives so let's say core so it is like apache core features will be available and second is like for authorizations and similarly like for directives so these all are you can use while creating your htaccess files so all these directives and modules will be seen in future videos so one directive that is access file name so this will you need to put in httpd dot config file so access file name directive is used to change basically name of your dot htaccess file so if you want to call your htaccess file with some another name so if you are using apache xamp lamp then you can open your httpd.config file and there you can add this access file name and after that whichever file name you want to give so here as an example i have given dot my access so if you will create dot htaccess file you need to create with this name let's say dot my access file there will be no dot htaccess it will be dot my access file so we will be seeing one example where we will be removing php extension and we will be like accessing it using html so i have created one index.php file and let's create htaccess so now let's write in uh, index.php welcome to htaccess tutorial so now let's check in browser so you can see heading is visible so now let's create one more file let's say about.php and in that also let's pass one heading about page and now let's check in browser so if i'll write about.php so now you can see it's opening about page now in htaccess file first thing i'm going to write is rewrite engine on so what is a rewrite engine it's a basically component or that will allow you to rewrite or redirect your urls so it basically is a combination of rewrite conditions rewrite rules so now next we will be defining is rewrite base so rewrite base is basically your base url for rewriting rules so here it will be htaccess tutorial so rewrite base basically specifies the url prefix to be used for like per directory basically so now next is rewrite condition so it defines basically a rule condition on which 
free write rule will be applied so if any url matches this condition then next rule will be like applied to that url whichever like change we are going to do or redirect so we are writing for file name that file name should be there so now finally let's write our rule so write rewrite rule and first it will be like a rejects so here it will be starting off like line we are not checking specific file name we just need to check extension so let's say uh, we are taking all file names and then if dot html is there then we need to redirect to dot php so as we are taking all urls so second will be dollar one whichever name comes direct to like same name but with dot php and at the end l l means that stop processing rules so that is like last rule to be run so if i'll write index.html so now you can see it's loading index.php and if i'll write index.php it will not load it will just retire to html and if i'll write about.html you can see about page is loading and if i'll write about.php it will not load we have defined such rules that if index.html is coming then it will map to index.php and if about.html is coming then it will map to about.php so that's how you can use htaccess i have shown you a very small example here so we will be seeing other examples in upcoming videos so that's all in this video i hope you like this video if you have any doubt related to this topic then you can comment down in the comment section thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching